she may live in a castle, have staff to tend to her every need and own a trove of priceless jewels. But every now and again, the queen proves she like every one of us, and loves doing what she can to be frugal, even if it means just saving a few pounds. And one time, while traveling overseas, her personal dresser and confidant, Angela Kelly left Her Majesty delighted when her savvy move made a small saving for her boss. It came at the end of the royal tour when Angela managed to claim a tax refund on some beautiful fabric she had bought for the monarch for dresses. Writing in her book The Other Side of the Coin, Angela says that the Queen is always keen to support local businesses when she goes abroad but unfortunately doesn't always have time to go to a local market. So, whenever they're in Singapore, traders are invited to set up stalls at the airport and the Queen has a quick browse through all the different fabrics. If she sees any she likes, she will catch the eye of a member of staff and they will buy it for her. Love the Royals. Sign up for the Mirror's Daily Newsletter to get all the latest news on the Queen, Charles. Kate, Wills, Meghan, Harry and the rest of the firm. Click here to sign up. On a trip to the country a few years back, when Angela and the ladies, in, waiting were collecting all the packages of silk, one of the stall owners explained that they could claim the tax back. Angela writes, the queen is always keen to keep costs down, so off I went in search of someone who could help. A few minutes later, as I was getting the tax back, another member of the royal staff rushed up to me in a panic shouting that we had to go straight away as the plane was leaving right that second. Soon I was running across the tarmac, flying up the steps to the plane just in time. I was so thrilled, I shouted over the plane's engine. A phrase I'm sure the Queen does not hear very often, I got your tax back. The look on the Queen's face was priceless as I handed her the tax refund. This weekend, the Queen is relaxing in Balmoral on a short holiday ahead of the Platinum Jubilee celebrations which begin next week. The monarch has attended a number of high-profile engagements in recent weeks and it is understood the head of state is now pacing herself before the national events start. In past years the Queen has usually visited her private Scottish home at the start of the summer and it is understood she arrived at her Highland retreat on Thursday. A special extended bank holiday will see the nation celebrate the Queen's 70-year reign with pomp, pageantry and a party.